there is an inseparable bond between religion and war. In this video we will present a chronological study of this delicate connection which took us weeks to complete. How deeply are faith and conflict intertwined in our history, especially regarding the conflict between Israel and Palestine? Join us on a journey through time as we unravel these inseparable threads so you can judge for yourself how far this connection really extends. In the shadow of gods and the roar of cannons lies a story as old as civilization itself. Where the divine meets the battlefield and faith becomes a weapon. From ancient civilizations to modern day conflicts, witness the intricate dance of ideology and conquest. How have gods shaped the destiny of armies and how has faith justified the cries of war? Today's exploration isn't just a tale of battles and beliefs, it's a revelation of humanity's enduring quest for meaning amidst chaos. A reflection of our deepest convictions mirrored in the flames of war. As we traverse through these epics, let's not just see wars and religions as separate threads of history, but as a woven tapestry reflecting our collective souls, struggles and triumphs. Prepare allies as we unravel the enigma where faith meets force and devotion intersects with destruction. To comprehend the bond between war and religion, we must first define them. Religion, in its essence, is a set of beliefs concerning the cause, nature and purpose of the universe. It often involves devotional and ritual observances and the moral code governing the conduct of human affairs. Religion, for many, is the compass guiding moral and ethical decisions. Religious warfare, or holy wars, arise when these deeply held beliefs become the catalyst for conflict. They are wars predominantly motivated by faith, often characterized by a divine call to arms. The term holy war implies a conflict seen as a sacred duty, often accompanied by a promise of spiritual reward for those who participate, such as an afterlife in heaven. Throughout history, religious scriptures have been interpreted to justify warfare. These interpretations have led to the mobilization of armies, convinced they are fighting for a righteous cause. Religious leaders have played pivotal roles in propagating and legitimizing these wars, often blurring the line between spiritual leadership and political authority. This intertwining of faith and battle is not a new phenomenon. From the ancient crusades to modern day conflicts, religion has been a powerful motivator, a banner under which armies have rallied. As we delve deeper, we'll explore how different civilizations and eras have witnessed this unique amalgamation of faith and warfare, shaping the world as we know it today. In the tapestry of ancient history, polytheistic beliefs were central to society. The ancients worshipped a pantheon of gods, each embodying different aspects of life and nature. These religions weren't just spiritual, they were intertwined with governance, law and yes, warfare. The gods were invoked to bless armies, to justify conquests and to explain victories and defeats. Consider the famous Trojan War, immortalized by Homer. While its historicity is debated, it's a prime example of how gods and goddesses were believed to directly influence the outcome of battles. Here divine intervention, wrath and favor played as significant a role as strategy and might. 
Such narratives were common in shaping the religious and military ethos of ancient civilizations. From the Egyptian pharaohs waging wars in the name of gods like Ra and Osiris, to the Greek city-states under the protection of deities like Athena and Ares, religion was the banner and shield in battles. Furthermore, religious festivals and calendars often determined the timing of these wars, with auspicious days chosen for starting military campaigns. The ancient Egyptian civilization poses as another example where religion was the cornerstone of their society. One notable example is the conflict between the pharaoh Akhenaten and the priesthood of Amun. Akhenaten's move to monotheism, worshipping the sun god Adam, disrupted centuries of polytheistic tradition. His radical shift not only altered the religious landscape, but also ignited political turmoil, as it threatened the established power and wealth of the traditional priesthood. After Akhenaten's death, the society swiftly reverted to its polytheistic roots, a testament to the deep entrenchment of religion in the fabric of ancient civilizations. Archaeological findings from weapons inscribed with prayers to ruins of temples destroyed in war further illustrate the entanglement of the divine and the mortal in these conflicts. The motivations might have been territorial expansion or political dominance, but the veneer of religion gave these wars a semblance of divine purpose. If you're finding this journey through history as fascinating as I am, make sure to share your thoughts in the comments. Your engagement helps us unravel more such intriguing stories. We now journey into the Middle Ages, a period dominated by the intertwining of faith and power, where religion didn't just influence, but often dictated the course of war. This era was marked by the Crusades, a series of religious wars sanctioned by the Latin Church. The mission? To reclaim the Holy Land from Islamic rule. These weren't mere battles for land, they were seen as holy missions, promising spiritual salvation for those who participated. Crusaders were driven by faith, zeal, and the promise of eternal rewards. A parallel narrative of religious warfare during the Middle Ages is the Reconquista in the Iberian Peninsula. Spanning over several centuries, it was a series of campaigns by Christian states to recapture territory taken by Muslims. What began as a small Christian kingdom striving to reclaim its land soon turned into a widespread movement driven by religious fervor and the promise of spiritual rewards. The Reconquista was marked by both sides as a holy war, where the lines between conquest and faith were deeply intertwined. It reshaped the cultural and religious landscape of the region, setting the stage for modern Spain and Portugal. This historical episode is a poignant reminder of how religion has been a mobilizing force in shaping the political boundaries of nations. Parallel to the Crusades and the Reconquista, the Inquisition was another phase of religious warfare. Here, the battleground was within, seeking to root out heresy and preserve the purity of faith. Art and literature from this period vividly depict these conflicts. They weren't just historical records, but served to glorify and justify the religious motives behind such wars. The church was a unifying force, but also one that wielded immense power. Kings and commoners alike bowed to its authority, which extended to the battlefield. Relics of saints and religious symbols were carried into battles as talismans. Their presence on the battlefield was believed to assure divine favor and victory. The Middle Ages showcased a time when faith was the drumbeat of war. From common soldier to king, everyone marched to its rhythm, 
often blurring the lines between the sacred and the profane. Fast forward to modern times, the landscape of warfare has evolved, yet the bond between war and religion remains intact, manifesting in new, complex forms. In the Middle East, for instance, conflicts often have deep-seated religious undertones. The strife is not just for land or resources, but also for ideological supremacy. Religious rhetoric is still a potent tool wielded by leaders to rally support, justify actions and sometimes to stoke the flames of conflict. Globalization and the internet have amplified the reach of such rhetoric, allowing religiously motivated ideologies to spread far beyond their origins. Unfortunately, this often leads to humanitarian crisis. The impact of religiously charged wars today isn't limited to battlefields, but extends to global politics, migration and human rights. Social media platforms have become battlegrounds for ideological warfare, where narratives are shaped and reshaped influencing public opinion on a massive scale. Yet there's hope. We're also witnessing unprecedented interfaith dialogues and effort towards peace, showing a growing awareness of the need for coexistence despite religious differences. In the modern era, the relationship between war and religion is more intricate than ever. Another stark example of the entanglement between religion and warfare is the Northern Ireland conflict, also known as the Troubles. This conflict, primarily between Protestant Unionists and Catholic Nationalists, was a complex mix of political, nationalistic and religious differences. It spanned over three decades from the late 1960s. While the root causes were deeply political, centered around the status of Northern Ireland, religious identity played a significant role in fueling tensions and communal divisions. The eventual resolution with the Good Friday Agreement in 1998 highlights the potential for peace and reconciliation even in deeply divided societies. An especially poignant example of this intricate relationship is the enduring conflict between Israel and Palestine. But before we take a step towards this, we urge you to like this video if you enjoyed it so far. More than 700 Israelis are now feared dead after unprecedented attacks by Hamas militants. Well, this drone video shows the scale of destruction wreaked across the Gaza Strip over the past few days. More than a million people have been warned to move south after several days in which the Israeli Defense Forces have been massing on the border ahead of an expected ground offensive into Gaza. To understand the complex relationship between war and religion in modern times, we turn to the enduring conflict between Israel and Palestine, a land sacred to Jews, Muslims and Christians alike. This region is home to some of the most revered religious sites. The overlapping religious claims have fueled a conflict deeply rooted in both historical and spiritual claims. The struggle here is not just territorial, but symbolic, representing a larger clash of identities and beliefs that have shaped the region's history. Despite numerous peace efforts and treaties, lasting peace remains elusive, as each side holds firm to its historical and religious narratives. The conflict's impact on daily life is profound. It's a constant reminder of how deeply religion can influence socio-political landscapes, often with tragic consequences. Yet amidst the strife, there are rays of hope. Interfaith initiatives and grassroots movements strive for coexistence, demonstrating the potential for peace and understanding. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict exemplifies the challenging yet vital need to balance religious beliefs with the universal aspirations for peace and harmony. It's a testament to the enduring power of faith in shaping our world.
see the two towers. A huge explosion now raining debris on all of us. We better get out of the way. Hamas sent their answer, more rockets, and told people to stay put. Allies, as we conclude our journey through the complex tapestry of war and religion, we're reminded of the powerful influence faith has had on human history. Religion, in its essence, is a quest for meaning and purpose. Yet its interpretation has led to both the creation and resolution of conflicts across centuries. As we've seen from ancient polytheism to modern day struggles, religion has been a driving force capable of uniting communities or dividing nations. But let's not overlook the role of religion in fostering peace, understanding and intercultural dialogue. The same beliefs that divide can also bridge division. The bond between war and religion teaches us a crucial lesson the power of beliefs in shaping our world. It's a reminder to seek understanding beyond our doctrines. In our modern era, as we face new challenges, this understanding becomes ever more critical. Let's harness our beliefs for unity and progress, not division and conflict. If you haven't yet, I encourage you to watch our exploration of the digital mirror social media's impact on society, where we delve deep into another powerful force shaping our lives. Thank you for joining this enlightening journey, allies. Your engagement and insights are invaluable. Until next time.